now I'm going to ask you to do a little bit of work on your own and see if you can come up with the proper solution for this little brain teaser. What if I would like you to enter your first name, then have you enter your last name in a separate prompt dialog box, and then write out in HTML using header level 2 a message which says hello and then your first name and your last name and do that with variables. So I'm going to um, have you pause if you wish and, and try that example and work on that on your own. And then I'm going to, in a few seconds here, I'm going to start actually preparing that code and you can test yourself and see how well you've done. Okay, so you might want to pause right now and, and then come back after you've finished uh, trying your example here. One thing that, uh, before you do that actually, is that you should make very sure that when you uh, create your variables that you make sure that you continue to respect their case sensitivity. So if you're using a lowercase a, uh, make sure that, that that lowercase a is being addressed whenever you um, work with that particular variable later on in the code. Okay, um, so pause the CD at this point and try to work on your own, and in a few seconds I will start right back up. Well, first off, we're not going to need the alert or the confirm information here, so I'm going to remove that. And then I'm going to create a variable, I'll rename this variable to first name. And variable first name equals prompt, please enter your name. We're going to have this be our first name. Now, to make matters very simple here, you do this a lot in JavaScript, it's a really good idea to copy and paste. There's several reasons for this. One, it's easier on your hands, but second is that uh, it's very easy to change the case of your variables if you don't copy and paste. Okay, so when you copy and paste, it makes things much easier. Variable last name equals prompt, please enter your, and we're going to use last name here. Okay, so we're going to go through several different prompts here. We're going to get a prompt for the first name, a prompt for the last name, and the first name is going to be assigned the variable, uh, or assigned to the variable first name, and the second name is going to be assigned to the variable last name. Then I'm going to take this document and I'm going to write out hello, comma, and then I'm going to put first name here, because that's the name now that we're going to be using, and last name. Now, if I just do this, first name plus last name, this will work. However, what you will end up with is no space between your first name and your last name. So I'm going to show you how this works. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to retitle this. I'm going to say working with two prompts. And I'm going to save this as js08.htm. And we're going to modify this in just a second because we'll find out this doesn't work quite so well. So this is now js08.htm. I'm going to pull this over here. Please enter your first name. Click OK. And please enter your last name. This is working so far. And then click OK. And yep, sure enough there are no spaces between my first name and my last name. So we're going to need to make a modification. I also asked that you put this into um, a level 2 heading. So we need to do something else as well. In order to put the space in, let's handle that one first. Um, this is quite easily done by adding a string in between the first name and the last name, which contains only a space. And that's done by using a double quote a space, a double quote, and then the plus sign, and that will concatenate or add that single space in between um, those other two strings, or the two parts of the strings. So, at this point, we want to write, write that out, but we also want to write out an HTML uh, header tag with H2, and that has to go inside the quotes. So I'm going to take that H2, I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to paste it right here before the double quote. It's really important you keep all of your HTML inside the double quotes when you do a document right. And this is going to be a closing tag, and that will be the final step. So I'm going to save that as JS08A. This will be the correct version. Pops up here, and we'll try that again. 
this. Rasmussen, and sure enough, we get the space between the first name and the last name, and we also get it in a level two heading. If you got that answer correct, congratulations. If you didn't, that's fine. Uh, just keep working until you until you've got this part mastered, because it's going to get a little deeper as far as complexity as we uh, continue on into the next segment.